Kellen, you're muted. First question comes from John Warner with the Waker Tribune Herald. Uh, Dylan, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, seems like you guys did a lot of the things you wanted today. Put yourself in, in position to win. Uh, was it kind of like last week and that y'all just didn't finish? Um, yeah, I think everybody's disappointed with the outcome. Um, that's no secret. But, uh, you know, you take the good with the bad. Um, you know, you see some of the things that we're improving on. Um, we put a big emphasis the last two weeks on starting fast, and I think we've done that. Um, you know, the next part of that is finishing strong, um, and that's a step in the process. Uh, we're we're proud of the team that we put together, and um, you know, we're just going to stay together and keep fighting as a team these last three weeks. Did you feel like a lot of guys stepped up defensively with Terrell out? Yeah. Um, so Abram and Bryson did an awesome job uh, filling in for. For uh, Terrell this week in practice, um, it was really cool to see that see them take that step, maturity-wise, and uh, just as football players, those guys really um, amped up their preparation, and I think you saw that on the field. Uh, you know, 28 had some really big plays that um, we've seen him make in practice, and we were proud to see him make those on the field. Um, you know, I think it was a team defensive effort, um, and I think everybody on the field has to improve, myself included. I had quite a few missed tackles today that. Um, you know, I put on myself, uh, it's, it's on nobody else. So I got to improve and we got to improve as a unit. Thank you, Dylan. Yep. Next question from Jerry Hill, Baylor Bear Insider. Dylan, uh, what was the different facing Bowman? What, what difference was it or how did he change things there in the second half? You kind of cut out the first part of the question. Can you repeat that, please? Yeah, what, what was the difference between um, Bowman and their first guy? What, what, what did he bring maybe that y'all didn't see in the first half? Um, I mean, they're, they're both similar quarterbacks. They, the offense doesn't really change with either quarterback. Um, when you're on the field, the same, same other 10 guys are on the field. So, um, you know, you don't notice as much. But um, those guys did enough to win today, and, and we didn't. So that's the biggest takeaway. Next question from Kevin Longquist with SigmaSports.com. You know, Dylan, a great effort by you guys today. What did you think as far as when, when you had them pinned down at about their 14 with about two and change to go, what was the defensive philosophy knowing that they needed a field goal? Unfortunately, they got that big run down the sideline. But what were you guys initially thinking at the start of that position? Uh, I mean, we knew we had to get a stop. We practiced that situation um, every week, uh, you know, ever since camp started. It's – it's a uh, two minute on Tuesdays or Wednesdays or whenever we do it. But, um, you know, we, we didn't uh, execute when, when it came down to it. And, um, you know, I had some missed tackles on that last drive and I'll, um, I wish I could have those back, but, um, you know, we'll continue to keep working and trying to execute in the critical, critical situations. What, what do you think might've happened on the play that where Thompson got loose on that play down the sideline that obviously put him in position there? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to watch the tape. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. That's all right. All right. That was the final question for Dylan. Dylan, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Good. Gavin Holmes coming in now. First question for Gavin comes from John Warner with the Waco Tribune Herald. Gavin, it looked like you guys went to a kind of a ball control offense. Was a lot of that because of the wind today? Yeah, the wind definitely put a factor in the game. Uh, so we knew, we knew we were going to have to run the ball. And we ran the ball really well. 
Was that a little frustrating uh, the last couple of possessions that y'all couldn't pick up a few more yards and maybe score? Oh, well, yeah, it was frustrating. Um, just, you know, just like anyone, you know, always um, control the game. We play, play soccer ball, football game. Um, we just got to finish these games, man. That's all it is. Thank you. Next question from Jerry Hill, Barely Bear Insider. Gavin, can you talk about just maybe how how some other guys stepped up with, you know, both Love It Out, Squirrel Out, Ebner was banged up. How some of those other guys, particularly Quaylen Jones, stepped up and played today? Uh, they, were, they worked their butts off in practice, so we knew they were going to come out and be able to, um, be able to get the job done. Um, Quaylen, uh, Tavon Williams, uh, they, they ran the ball really well. Um, proud of them, proud of how they played. All right, that was the final question for Gavin. Gavin, thank you for your time. Myra, please use the raise hand function when you'd like to ask a question. First question for Coach Randa comes from John Warner with the Waco Tribune Herald. Coach, uh, it looked like y'all did a lot of things right. Uh, ball control, uh, dealt with the wind pretty well. Uh, it, it's got to be frustrating again, not not to finish though. How do you see it? It is. I think you know the locker room's hard. We've been through uh, a fair amount of adversity, and uh, you know we added some more to our plate tonight. And so I think this was a game. I thought that we played well enough to win. And, it's disappointing that we didn't finish and win. Um, what did you think of the performance of the young running backs, uh, Quaylen, Tay? Uh, they both had really good games. And I thought it was. I thought there's a lot of positive. I think there's a fair amount that we can improve on. Um, they were at their best when they put their foot in the ground and got north and south. I think there was some um, of going um, east and west. But um, that would that would be something that off the off to the sideline would be addressed in the next series. They're hitting it downhill, so I thought you know for a lot of them, for uh, for, for both of them, the most playing time they've ever had and their ability to attack it and uh, to help us in, in our effort, I thought it's uh, it's very good. It's something to build on. Uh, Treston played a little at the start. Did, did he get hurt, or what happened here? He was feeling tight uh, prior to the game. Uh, we were concerned about uh, how that would look, so we gave him, or he, he wanted to give it a shot. It just felt too tight to play. Okay. Thank you. Next question is from Jerry Hill, Baylor Barons. Hey, if you talk about fast starts, that was two weeks in a row where Jalen has returned to pick six. How big was that just to kind of get you guys going? It was good. You know, we we uh, talked about start fast this uh, this week as well, and practice that way, and really uh, tried to connect the fast start with uh, finishing strong. And um, we still have work to do in that regard. But I think the start fast, the mindset, the, uh, the approach to attack, and to not hold back and go out and make plays, I think our guys are embracing. And I feel like we're going to play that way the rest of the rest of this way through. So it was a big play for us. I think there was there was some uh, uh, wait and see. I think in terms of what was coming out of uh, their offense, and the wind was a big factor. I think in the game. And so uh, at that time of the pick six, it, it opened stuff up a little bit. Knowing you maybe only needed one more first down, did you feel like you had a good play called? Was it there on that third down play? Which one? Which one was that? Uh, where, you, where you're trying to run out the clock there at the end, about two and a half minutes to go or so. And I think Charlie tried to hit Yusuf. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought, you know, that was a, a, a mesh play. We were expecting tight man coverage. I can credit Tech there. Uh, they had guys on our guys, you know, and that's been a staple for us. We've, that was about day one install. And so uh, they, they made they made a hell of a play there over the, over the middle of the field. And, Wish that would be something we would execute maybe a little bit better. 
Next question from David Smoke with Sigma 365. Dave, um, I hate to ask a question about not so much the game, but where, where was Gary Bohannon and why did he not make the trip to Lubbock? Um, Gary right now is, is working through some off, uh, off the field um, issues. And um, I expect for Gary to be back with us when we get back um, tomorrow. Also, on, on some of the punts, when you had a chance to, with the wind or uh, with you or against you with Isaac, it seemed like you're losing some hidden yardage with special teams at times when yardage in a game with the wind like it is is massive. Is, is that a football IQ thing that you have to just get through? I think so. I think there was good and bad with um, our special teams effort today. I think there was some there was some uh, punts where um, we were getting the bounce we wanted, and you know you'd, you'd want that bounce to go further and for time to uh, uh, time to go by as well. And there there was others where um, where we, we didn't execute as well as you'd like. And so I think for the for the most part, I thought uh, there was a lot of positive. Again, the wind was a pretty big factor, but there's a fair share that we can uh, learn and grow from for sure. Next question from Kevin Lonquist with SiggumSports.com. Dave, when you all have him pinned down at their 14, uh, what's kind of the defensive philosophy on this, knowing that a field goal beats you, but what's kind of how you all want to try and react to this and not get him close? Unfortunately, it didn't work out, but how do you all want to try and play that? Play two high safeties um, and try to um, uh, get a particular technique to the side of the running back and uh, force them to have to execute they've got that far to go then um, especially if it's if it's where they're where that ball is at and they're they're in a backed up position make them have to execute mistake free um, and then once we get into field goal range and then the coverage gets tighter and the pressure ramps up that was the plan uh, prior to the uh, the breakout do, do you think when they had the injury there to their tight end uh, Carter that that kind of maybe gave them a little bit more momentum because they could kind of breathe and catch their breath or, or how did you kind of see that little delay there? I didn't feel that, but um, I, maybe that was something I didn't feel that just on the field. Um, I felt, you know, I look at it more of the things that we could have controlled, um, whether it was timing up something or tackling better or leveraging uh, a gap or playing correct leverage on a guy. Um, on, a, on, a, on an eligible. I think there, there are things in that drive that we can do better that uh, we're very in control of. All right, thank you. Yeah. This question from John Warner with the Wake of Tribune Herald. Dave, did, uh, did Bowman give them a, a little different look or some kind of different momentum when he came into the game? How, how did you see that when they made that QB change? I think he, um, the offense is similar. I think there was uh, hey, come on uh, here. So, so here's the. There was some more confidence with him. I felt. I thought. Um, I thought uh, between the between the two, the difference is the ability when things are closing in around them for one to step up and make throws, and the other sees the rush. I think that was the main difference between the first and second half. Okay. Thank you. Final question is from Jerry Hill, Barely Bear Insider. Hey, if it kind of gets lost in the shuffle, but that drive there at the end of the first half when you only had like a minute or so and then get the 48-yard field goal gives you a really good momentum going into halftime. How did you feel about that drive? I, I thought it was a, a full team effort. Uh, there's a lot of guys that, um, that invested a lot to get that done. I think um, offensive-wise, special teams-wise, clock management-wise, um, there's a lot that went into that. So I'm proud of that. And um, I think it's, a, um, it's an example of when we're all doing the right stuff, how, how good we can get it, and uh, uh, how we can squeeze points out and, uh, and be, and be uh, real exact with what, with what we're doing. I think we need, we need more of that throughout the four quarters. Is this game different in the sense that you've been trying to come back in some of the other ones, but this one you led most of the way. Is this one harder to come back from? Uh, you know, they've all been difficult. It's a good question. I think um, the 
locker room felt pretty down. The, um, there's been a few locker rooms that have felt down so far, but you know, last week was down. Um, I think just the, the, the combination of some of these uh, are things that we have to fight and address. And, you know, I think to me, the ability for, for us to stay together and for us to focus on the things that we can control and that we can get better at, uh, that is what has allowed us to progress to the point to where we're in these fights. Um, and so we've got to stay on track with that and put the focus where the focus needs to be, get better. All right, that was the final question for Coach Aranda. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you.